Welcome, this is the Health Hour. Costa and Jumo here um, on DSTV TV Mall Channel 173. And today we've got Vita Aid Alkaline Plus. Take care of your alkaline or alkaline state of your blood or That's alkalinity right. of your blood with Vita Aid Alkaline Plus. We are giving two for only 340 Rand. Save 170 Rand, but that's not all. You'll also get a third one absolutely free of charge. That is, uh, depending on how many you take, three to six months of... Yeah. Um, that's right, yeah, so about, about three months. Exactly. More, more than three months. Okay, so uh, let's get back to alkalinity versus acidity. Uh, what does a body that is high in acid do? I think this is one of my favorite topics because we are talking about balancing the body chemistry. So when you look at it, balancing the body chemistry, it has to start with how you eat. So when you're looking at your foods, you need to know that there's what we call alkaline foods or alkaline forming foods and acid foods or acid forming foods. And the ratio that brings a good balance is to eat about 70 to 80 percent of the alkaline forming foods and then about 20 to 30 percent of the acid forming foods. Okay. That then helps you to make sure that your blood sugar level, your, your, your blood sugar levels, your, your alkalinity, your energy levels are all nicely put together because then you will be operating in, an, in a very good alkaline environment. In fact, your blood will always maintain a slightly alkaline environment, which is about, we, for argument's sake, we always say 7.4, but to be more exact, it's 7.235, but we want to say 7.4 to make it easy, but it's a slightly alkaline environment. So what I'm hearing is most of us actually are not eating, and we'll take, we'll go through the foods of the acid-forming and the alkaline-forming foods, but uh, the, the average modern diet is, uh, is actually full of acid-forming foods, right? It does, I think, because when you look at it, which are your alkaline-forming foods? Simply put, eat more fruits and eat more vegetables, and mostly the vegetables part because they give you the minerals because the minerals are the ones that play Alkaline. a role in alkalinizing the body. So if I am high in acidity, what, will my, what does my body feel like when it's at high acidity? Look, the situation, unfortunately, for the blood, uh, the good thing is you are designed to stay alive. The body will do the best to make sure that you stay alive, but it then robs you of minerals from the rest of you. So what happens is the blood then, because it has to stay in an alkali, in an alkaline state for you to be alive, it robs you of minerals from your cells. Robs me of minerals from my cells. What does that, what does that um, result in? That's the feelings. That actually weakens your immune system. Mm -hmm. It robs you of your energy levels. Mm -hmm. And that in itself makes you not fit to last the day very well. Okay, so we're being robbed of energy levels. And we're hearing now also that our immune system is compromised. Definitely. With, with higher acidity. What yes. about inflammation? Inflammation also comes in, in as, as one of the, the, the challenges that we do face because the foods that we eat, if they are, in fact, most of us, unfortunately, are eating lots of foods that actually cause inflammation. We are eating too much sugar and that causes an irritation to ourselves and we end up having inflammation where now you would need to have antioxidants, you know, to mop up all those free radicals and toxins that the body is producing. So we're reducing the inflammatory response by making our blood more alkaline. More alkaline. Tell us, what is in Vita Aid Alkaline Plus? It's a very good combination of herbs. Mm -hmm. We've got aloe vera as one of the ingredients. We've got papaya. Uh, we've got turmeric. But when you look at it, uh, the, the herbs are working in a different way, in different ways to make sure that you balance the level of alkalinity in the, in, the, in, the, in the blood. So what are you doing? You want, if there's excess acid, you want to neutralize it. So some of the herbs will help neutralize the excess acid that is, that is moving around in the body. And then you will have not only the neutralizing, but also making sure that you can get rid or excrete them completely out of the system. Okay, so we're not only neutralizing Okay, we're also helping excrete. Yes, also helping flushing them out. That makes us. That makes it a little bit different to other products I've seen, because yes. the other products I've seen on the market actually just whatever I heard they buffer. 
Yes, you do, you, you do not just want to neutralize and leave it there. You <clears throat> want to make sure that you also assist in making sure that the body can then eliminate what you do not need. So you don't want to put your blood under lots of pressure because what happens, I think the three main areas that we need to touch in terms of uh, the, the body being alkaline and acidic is you find that the body tries to retain lots of water mm. to counter excess acid in the blood. That process is not enough. And then it goes to stealing your alkalizing minerals, your magnesium, your iron from your cells. So your tissues, your cells are weakened and your energy level starts dropping. That in itself has been proved that it's not enough to counter excess acidity in the blood. So where does then the blood go? It then remembers, aha, uh -huh, I've got a better reserve. It goes to your skeleton because your skeleton is full of calcium. So robbing my skeleton, yes. I'm robbing my own skeleton yes. of nutrients that it needs. And what does that do to you? Uh, it's deteriorating my body, it's you energy. Are, you are actually having also a weak skeleton uh -huh. and that's why some people go get to a condition which is called osteomalacia which is actually soft bones but not only soft bones they also get pain with it from a high acid forming diet but, yes that gives right. you highly acidic um uh, environment that is true okay so i i like to just talk about the swimming pool example you know a swimming pool that is high in acid the way i understand it actually turns green that's right all right, so, so we put stuff in there to, yes. to, alkalize, to it alkalize it and yeah. turning it blue. Yes. So for the layman, the way I'm understanding it is um, keep my body in the cleanest possible state. That, in fact, it's actually it's, it's providing the right media for health. Because why it's key to keep your body in an alkaline state is because germs do not survive in an alkaline environment. Mm -hmm. So which means if you keep, you maintain your body and your tissues in an alkaline environment, you're actually saving and helping your immune system to be strengthened. Okay, so like it says there, letting our body sparkle. You know, you, you mentioned that I'm rob being robbed of energy. Okay, I'm being robbed of energy and actually um, get your energy back, you get your energy levels back by increasing the alkalinity of your body. Um, uh, we've got a video or a slide I'd like to show our viewers at home of the different um, foods that are either alkaline forming or acid forming. Remember, we're not only giving you two for 340 rand, saving you 170 rand, you're getting an extra one free. So there we go, balancing your body chemistry. Take us through this food chart here. I think when you, I, I, I like when you look at that food chart and you look at the scale, because the scale for our seed and alkalinity runs from zero to 14. Mm -hmm. So zero to just before seven is acidic. Seven is our neutral point. That's why we always love using the green, mm -hmm. uh, because green nature, you see, that's the neutrality. And then above seven, that's alkaline. So that's the state that we want to be in, but we're not saying we should be too alkaline, because the blood has to be about 7.4 uh, 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 to actually maintain life. So the foods, when you look at the fruits and the vegetables that we've got there, they have got, they offer different sets of pH, which means now when you eat, like the 70 to 80% being the, what comprom comprises your diet for the day, then it means your body is definitely going to be well taken care of and you are not risking losing calcium from your skeleton. So that is the alkaline side. That's right. Okay, and of course you were saying uh, earlier we should be eating 70 to 80%? Alkaline and alkaline forming foods. The reason why I'm saying alkaline and alkaline forming, forming. foods is, the, is, is, is to make the viewers understand that there are some foods which are known to be acidic, but when they, you take them, the body converts them into an alkaline ash. And apple cider vinegar, citrus fruits, your lemon, your oranges, they are acidic when you take them, but the body then changes them into an alkaline ash. That's why we encourage you to take them for an alkaline state because they eventually are used as a body as alkaline. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> eating alkaline forming foods yeah. or alkaline foods yeah. is, is uh, not really that easy look in at today's acid. modern. Acid yeah. forming foods is what we all love to eat. I mean, look at those. We've got red meats, we've got wines, milk, I see breads, I think, pastas. Yeah. Simplifying the acid parts, uh, Costa, this is what you are looking at. You are looking at your sugars, mm. you are looking at your alcohol, you are looking at your protein, because if you eat too much protein, you are actually making your body too acidic. This is why bodybuilders who actually supplement with too much protein, they end up running into problems of kidney problems. Mm. Why? Because you're 
um, proteins building blocks is amino acids. So protein is acidic in nature. Mm -hmm. So you need to control the amount that you take. So let's control your alkaline levels with Vitaid Alkaline Plus. Today on TV More, we're saying get two for not 510 Rand, what you'd pay in retail, yes. but for 340 Rand, save 170 Rand. That's not all though. We will throw in a third one absolutely free. Now, how long will this last you? Tell us now, how many times a day should I be taking this and when should I be taking this? Take them with your meal because we want them to assist because if you have taken the wrong meal, so if you are still in that phase where you are adjusting from bad eating habits and getting to eat the right way, so you can take one with your breakfast, Take one with your lunch and take one with your dinner. What are you doing? You are saying to yourself, okay, I have probably have eaten the wrong foods, but I've also taken a supplement that's going to help me to quickly eradicate or mop out that excess acid that is being generated by the food that I've eaten, which is a way of like kind of like eat and cheat. Not that we're encouraging that, but we are saying make it a phase. Whilst you are in that phase of transition, uh -huh. to, transition to eating well, this is a good way. But even if you battle to eat well and you are still struggling with that, you've got a supplement, Vita Aid, Alkaline Plus, that's going to make sure that it helps you with making sure that you do not lodge too much acid into your blood. And what we're saying is uh, three per day. So each bottle will last you a month. So this is a three-month supply um, right. or one and a half months if you're going to be sharing this with your partner at home and alkalizing your body and getting your body back into a state of general health give your body a chance right that's right so we t we spoke about the one three times a day that was uh, for someone who is under 90 kgs mm -hmm. i'm over 90 kgs and the suitable dose would be to double it so i would take two tablets uh three times a day two with my breakfast two with my lunch and two with my dinner okay and would you take it seven days a week you can take this seven times seven days a week because most of us we do it all the time and and, and not to mention that most of us do overeat and this is why when we encourage you to eat fruits and vegetables, we are actually encouraging you to take the nutrients. The body feels hungry most of the time, not because you have not eaten. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, yeah. so take control of the acidity and versus alkalinity of your body. Make sure you're remaining more alkaline, giving your body more energy. What we heard is also giving yourself the chance to actually heal and also increasing your, meta um, not metabolism, um, immune levels. Your immune levels. So your energy levels will definitely rise. Fantastic. This is the Vita Aid Alkaline Plus. Buy two and get one free. But the two are only 340 Rand. You're saving 170 Rand and we're throwing in a third one free. Give us a call on 0861 000 173. This is the TV hour, sorry, this is the health hour with Costa and Juma. There's always more in store for you here at TV Mall.